What's up, everybody, and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Okay, well, Miguel actually made another video. He did this one about fats that I posted, and now he made another one about carbohydrates that I'm going to post right now in the link below that basically describes very in-depth scientific-wise why carbs are not all created the same and why different carbs have different reactions and they should be used different ways. Now, before we actually get to that video, there's a couple things I want to touch on. So, first of all, you know, some things pop up in the comment section that if I didn't address, let's face facts, it wouldn't be fucking my OS3. So, first of all, you fucking assholes who say stupid shit, <clears throat> excuse me, like, well, Jerry, that's just basic stuff you learn in your fucking first grade fucking biology class. Motherfuckers. First of all, shut the fuck up. Okay, if it's so easy and so basic, why the fuck haven't you put out a fucking video or a blog or, or anything yet? Explaining it the way that this kid did now bottom line is even if I went to that fucking first grade biology class There's a lot of shit. I don't understand. I don't learn by reading a fucking book and not understanding what the fuck is in it Miguel actually took the time to describe it with diagrams Which I'm better visually than I am reading a book on how these things fucking worked And you know what that clicked with me Which means that that's gonna click with a lot of the fucking viewers that don't understand what's in that first grade book and you motherfuckers that are talking shit I guarantee fucking if you did understand it you're such an asshole to not fucking take the time to do it. You can go fuck yourself. Okay? So give the kid a fucking break. The kid took the time out of his fucking day to make the first video, which I found very helpful for myself. So that when people ask me, I can explain it a lot better. And I've been doing this a long fucking time. I've read those books fucking over and over again. I've bought the books on my own. I've tried to take the classes. I failed general science. I am not a fucking science guy. But some people want to know the science behind it. So therefore, if someone can explain it in layman's terms that I can understand... I don't give a fuck what you people think about, well, oh, you can just take a class. Fuck you and your class. There's a lot of people out there that don't understand the classes, learn different ways, and want to know the information. Therefore, shit like this is good for people like me. And I'm betting a lot of the fucking viewers that watch my channel are like me. And the few that bitch about shit, you shouldn't be here anyways. If you're bitching about fucking shit, I wish you would just fucking unsub click and get the fuck out of here. Second, you dumb motherfuckers. You dumb motherfuckers that say stuff like, Jerry, fats are inefficient and saturated fats are inefficient and you want the most inefficiency way of doing things when you want to talk, talk about metabolism. Oh my God. I want to punch you. I want to reach to the computer screen and punch you in the fucking face. That's what I want to do. No, that's not true. The harder it is for your body to break down that fat, the slower your metabolism gets. You're thinking that you get more of a metabolism boost by burning calories. A lot of these things don't work out in practical applications. There was one guy that contacted me and said, Jerry, I'm trying to get lean. And I read that if I sit in a bucket of fucking ice water for like four hours, I'll burn fat. That's great in theory. And they made have froze some motherfuckers cryogenically and made them lose fat. But that doesn't fucking work, okay? I've tried that bullshit. I've sat in a sauna to raise body temperature. All that bullshit that says this is how it works. It's not practical application. It doesn't work. When you're trying to break down that saturated fat, what you want to do, okay? Stimulate your metabolism with training, okay? You get like an eight-hour boost in metabolism if you train the fucking right way. An eight-hour boost. When you start eating those fats, those saturated fats that slow that the whole process down, guess what? You're slowing down that fucking boost you just gave it. That's a fucking fat. If you start eating the fats that metabolize quickly, they're used efficiently. Now, the way that I diet, I eat when hungry. If I eat something and it takes me four hours to get fucking hungry, guess what? My metabolism is not efficient. If I eat something and an hour and a half later, I'm hungry, my metabolism is efficient. If I eat some kind of fucking saturated fats... It takes me longer to get hungry. My metabolism is not as efficient. It is not feeding my body what it needs efficiently fast enough to make my body efficient. However, if you use the polymonounsaturated fats, which break down very easily, or something like an MCT, guess what? My body is efficient. Now, in the form of carbohydrates, you know, you do want the, the most inefficient way because it's not still inefficient like a fat is inefficient. Okay, with the carbohydrates, if you have the most efficient way, which is glucose, your body shoves in it. Well, Miguel explains the whole thing, but the bottom line is digesting a complex carbohydrate is not the same thing as digesting a fat. The body doesn't take the same amount of time. It's not the same amount of work. But you want inefficiency when it comes to carbohydrates and you want efficiency when it comes to fats. That's part of how this whole fucking thing works. And anybody that fucking negates that, fuck you. You lose weight at the fucking snail's pace. You gain weight at the snail's pace. And I'm so tired of seeing these fucking people talk about, well, this is the way, Jerry, and results this. And I'm like, motherfucker, none of you, none of you have gotten the fucking results that I have in the last five years. None of you can change your body like me. So don't you think it's about time you stop, stop saying fucking maybe, dude, maybe I'm doing something wrong. No, I read a book. No, I read this online. No, I'm at a forum. Well, fuck you, your forums and your books. 
Bottom line is, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. This guy Miguel knows what the fuck he's talking about. And through these videos, we're helping a lot of fucking people that wouldn't otherwise understand this shit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter these fucking comments. Your motherfucking ass is something stupid. You're gone. You basically become like you don't fucking exist. You want to fucking talk shit? You want to do it your way? Start your own fucking channel and do it on there because I'm tired of the bullshit. This kid comes along and makes a fucking video that was fucking good. Two of them. And you got the fucking balls to fuck with him. That's not going to happen on my dime. You want to fuck with me, it's fine. But you're not fucking with other people when they're out there trying to help other people. That's just how it's going to work. So, biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com is a blog. It's the carbs video and fuck you trolls bicep and we're out.